Elsewhere, workers of the new plant Ghana Limited are appealing to government to urgently intervene to save the company from imminent collapse. Inadequate state funding and denial of government contracts are set to be factors affecting the viability of the automobile assembling plant. Here's a report by Benjamin Nadu. Established in 1974, the government of Ghana has 55% shares in New Plan Ghana Limited, which builds and services buses. The company, through Netherlands-based VDL Group, was contracted in 2005 to assemble over 450 DAF buses for Metro Mass Transit Limited. New Plan Ghana built buses for the defunct Omnibus Services Authority, OSA, S.O. Frimpong Transport Limited, public universities and private individuals in other neighboring West African countries. Government has, however, shifted attention to the importation of Chinese and Indian buses, rendering the local company almost redundant. New Plan Ghana has been operating far below capacity and has had to terminate the appointments of valuable technical staff due to lack of orders. The company has the capacity to produce 400 buses per annum, but currently produces 80 buses, which is 20% of their target. For now, the plant is into the repair of vehicles for VIP transport, Metro Mass Transit and other private companies. Relying on the private sector for jobs has affected revenue inflow. Management struggles to pay salaries of workers and utility costs. Our concern is an appeal to the government. It should give a helping hand with contracts so that these companies can survive. Our sustenance is coming from private people. We do minor jobs, rehabilitations here and there. It does not even sustain us. Officials want government to stop the importation of Chinese and Indian buses and renew its contract with New Plan Ghana to build buses for metro mass transit and public schools. They also want government to include them under the one district, one factory policy since they have all the facilities to run as a factory. Ghana government should capitalize the commercial plant land as its additional capital contribution to the joint venture. The Ghana government paid all these things without the values being taken into the books of uh, New Plan. We are just appealing to the government that he should come and help New Plan Ghana Limited to get more buses. We need contracts so they should come and help us so that we can also pay our workers.